Hi everybody. Today we are going to start talking about the concept of perimeter. So what is perimeter? Let's take a look. Perimeter, if you notice the definition is below, is the distance around a figure. So today we are going to find the perimeter or the distance around a polygon, a polygon meaning a closed-sided figure with three or more sides, by counting the side units. Let's first think about why would we want to find the distance around a shape? Let me show you some examples. The first example here, up on the left right here, is a garden. And if you notice with that garden, there is a wooden border around the garden to help keep the vegetables and the plants inside that garden. So for the farmer, what he needed to do was he needed to measure the distance around the garden area so that he knew how much wood he would need for that border. Let's take a look at another example. Let's take a look up here. Up here you see a bulletin board. You see a lot of bulletin boards at school and around that bulletin board is a border. So what that teacher needed to do to know how much border she needed around that board was to measure the distance around the entire bulletin board. Now if we come down here, what do you see? Well, I see a dog and I see that there's a fence around the dog. So the owners must have wanted to put a fence so that the dog would not get out of the yard. So in order for them to do that, they needed to measure the distance around their yard so they knew exactly how much fencing they would need. And our final example down below is the playground. If you notice, the children are walking on this wooden border around the playground. That wooden border helps all of the mulch inside that playground stay where it is. So the person who created this playground and built this play playground needs to measure the distance around the playground to know how much wooden border they would need to build the playground. So let's take a look at our first polygon that we are going to find the perimeter of. As you can see, we see a shaded blue rectangle but I noticed there's no measurements around the rectangle. Today, we are going to find the perimeter by counting the side unit lengths. What I mean by that is that we're going to count each of the square sides to determine the length of each side. So let's take a look at this first side that I just highlighted. I noticed that it has one, two, three square sides. So the distance for this side is three units. Let's go to on to our next side. My next side, I'm going to count my square side lengths, which is one, two. I have two units on this side. And then I'm going to go to my third side and count how many square side units I have. I have one, two, three units here. And finally, I have one more side. And if we count, I see one, two units. So in order to find the perimeter of this shaded rectangle, I need to add up all of the sides. And in order to do that, I'm going to write a number sentence below. I'm going to write 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2. And if you noticed, I crossed off each of those units as I was writing them down so I do not lose track and forget any. 
So now I have a number sentence with lots of numbers in them, but I can chunk some of these. I know that 3 plus 2 is 5, and another 3 plus 2 is 5, so 5 plus 5 has a total of 10 units. Okay. The label for my perimeter is going to be units today because I do not have a specific measuring unit like centimeters, meters. So our perimeter of this rectangle is 10 units. Let's take a look at another shape. Ooh, all right. Now, as in before, the perimeter is the distance around the shape. So we need to make sure that we count up all of the side lengths. So let's start with one side. It doesn't matter what side you start with as long as you make sure that you count them all. Let's start with this one. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. The length of that side is four units. Now I'm going to go on to my next side and count that. One, two, three, four. And that's another four units. And go on to my next side and do one, two, three, four. Another four units. And my last side, one, two, three, four, four units. So to find the perimeter, I am going to add up all of those sides, writing them down in a number sentence. Four plus four plus four plus four. And I'm going to chunk my numbers to help me add a little bit easier. Four plus four is a doubles fact of eight, and four plus four is another eight. So eight plus eight gives you a total of 16 units. Okay, make sure your label is next to your number. Okay, let's move on to another shape. Ooh, I notice that this is not four sides. This looks like it has more than four sides, so we really need to be careful at making sure we count all of the sides. So to begin, I am going to start on this side. And I'm going to make my mark so that I know I counted each of those square unit lengths. One, two. So that is two. And I'm going to go on to my next side. One, two, and two. And a common mistake a lot of students make is that they count these corners. So we don't count corners, we count the actual side. Okay, and now I have another side here, which is one, two, and another side here, one, two, and another side, one, two, three, four units long on this side. My final side here is one, two, three, four, four units long. So what do I have to do to find the perimeter? If you said to add up all of the sides, you are correct. So let's go ahead and write them down in a number sentence down here. Two plus two plus two plus two plus four plus four. That's a long number sentence, so let's chunk some of these numbers. I can see that I have two, four, six, eight, so that is equal to eight, and I know that four plus four is eight, so eight plus another eight is sixteen, and my label would be units. So the perimeter of this polygon is sixteen units. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Ooh. All right, another polygon that has more than four sides, so we need to be careful and make sure we count all of those sides. I'm going to start with this side first. I'm going to count one, two, three. So that's three units here. And this side, remember, do not count the corners, count the actual side lengths. One, two, and then I have this side, which is only one. Some students forget that because it's so small, so you need to be careful. This side has a total of one, 
two, and then I'm now going to go on this side, one, two, three, four, and my final side, one, two, three, four. So, what am I going to do to find the perimeter? Add up all the sides, yes. So let's go ahead and write our number sentence. I'll write it up here this time. Three. And remember, you don't have, it does not matter which number you start with as long as you have all of your numbers. Plus two, plus one, plus two, plus four, plus four. So let's find the total. I see a doubles fact here of four plus four, which is eight. And I know that three plus two is five, and two plus one is three. So I know five plus three is eight, and eight plus eight is 16. So my total perimeter for the outside, the distance around this figure is 16 units. Okay. So let's just go ahead and review and make sure that we have accomplished our goal for today. Our goal for today was to find the perimeter or the distance around a shape or a polygon by counting the side units. Do you think we've accomplished our goal for today? If you said yes, then I would agree.